Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I got a game for you from Baseball Max. We are going to do the 1955 Dodgers hosting the 1968 Cardinals. And I will be managing the Cardinals. The computer will be managing the uh, Dodgers. So the lineup you can see on the screen for the lineup and the pitcher for on the screen for us is going to be Lou Brock leading off and playing left field. Kurt Flood will bat second and play center. Mike Shannon will bat third and play third base. Orlando Cepeda will bat in the cleanup spot and play first base. Roger Maris will bat in the fifth spot and play right field. Edwards will be the catcher, batting sixth. Julian Havier will bat seventh and play second base. Dell Maxville will be the shortstop, batting eighth. And, of course, our starting pitcher will be Bob Gibson. And, uh, they, and he will bat ninth. And then uh, the uh, Dodgers will have Don Newcomb. Uh, pitching, and their lineup will be um, Gilliam leading off and playing second. Jackie Robinson will bat second, playing third base. Duke Snyder will bat third and play center. Roy Campanella bats in the cleanup spot, and he's the catcher. Carl Ferrillo will play right field and bat fifth. Batting sixth, you got Gil Hodges at first base. Batting seventh, you'll have Sandy Amaros in left field. Batting eighth, you have Pee Wee Reese at shortstop. And, of course, Newcomb, their pitcher, will bat ninth. So, let's get going with this one. This is a classic matchup from the history of baseball. So, uh, let's see here. i got to remember how to do this now. <laughs> All right, so we've got Lou Brock leading off. And I'm going to swing away with him. And he will hit the ball to shortstop, but there's an error, so he is aboard with an error. And, of course, I'm going to try to steal a base, because that's Lou Brock. And what happened? Runner unable to get a good lead. All right, so we're going to let Kurt Flood hit. Can't believe that Brock couldn't get a good lead. He's going to strike out. So there's one down. And that brings up Mike Shannon. And Mike Shannon could get a base hit here. Got a 50% chance of doing that. But he doesn't. So that's two down. And that will bring up Orlando Cepeda. Has a pretty good card here. But he's going to strike out. Newcomb strikes him out, and we go. Um, we do not score any runs in the first inning. And we're going to have Bob Gibson. Look at that Bob Gibson card for 1968. A really good card. Fly ball to center, and that is a fly out, so there's one down. And that'll bring up Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson is going to rip a single off of Bob Gibson. Who knew that? All right. So, anyway. Um, Duke the Duke. Duke Snyder is up. And he is going to fly out to center. Just missed hitting a home run off of Bob Gibson. Imagine that. Roy Campanella is the batter. Runner dives back safely. All right, so. And that's going to be a strikeout. Bob Gibson with his first, I believe, first strikeout of the game. And we go to the top of the second in a 0-0 game with Roger Maris batting. And Roger Maris is going to hit a ground ball to second. And that's an error. That's a second error by the Dodgers, which brings up Johnny Edwards. And Johnny Edwards is going to hit a single to left field. Uh, you know what? Well, let's see. No, I'm going to hold him. There's no outs. I'm just going to hold him. And this is a good lineup. 
to. So uh, after all of that happens, we're going to have uh, Julian Havier up. And he is going to fly out to center. So there is one down. And that's going to bring up Dal Maxville. And Dal Maxville is going to ground out into a double play. So we get no runs there. We go to the bottom of the second. Carl Ferrillo will bat against Bob Gibson. And that is a possible home run right there. But it's going to be a double. Still, it's a double. That's pretty big. So uh, there's a man on second. And that will bring to the plate Gil Hodges. So Gil Hodges, and that is a possible single, but it's only going to be a very slight chance, and it is an out. So there is a pop out, and that brings to the plate Sandy Amoros. And he will walk. Bob Gibson issuing the free pass here. Two runners are on with one out. And Pee Wee Reese is the batter. Pee Wee Reese with a good three column. There's a ground ball back to Bob Gibson. That is a ground out. And that will bring up Don Newcomb, the pitcher. And Don Newcomb is going to be out. So the Dodgers are out of the second inning. We go to the top of the third. Where our man Bob Gibson is going to bat. And he will be out. He strikes out. And that brings Lou Brock back to the top of the order with Lou, sweet Lou Brock. And he is going to strike out. Which brings up Kurt Flood. And Kurt Flood is going to hit a single. So we got a man aboard with two down and Mike Shannon up. And that is going to be a ground to third and he is out. So we get uh, no runs there. We go to the bottom of the third. Jim Gilliam is up. 0-0 zero, zero game here. Nobody can break through. And that's going to be an out. So there's one down quickly. And Jackie Robinson is the batter. And he is going to hit a ground ball to second. And he is out. So there's two down. And that brings to the plate Duke the Duke. Duke Snyder. And he is going to have a possible ballpark home run chance here. But it's a fly out, and it remains 0 0 through 3. We go to the top of the fourth, where Orlando Cepeda is batting. And he is going to hit a single, so we got a leadoff man aboard. He's a stealing C, I'm not going to try that. Which brings up Roger Maris. Roger Maris is going to pop out right between two on-base chances, one of them being a home run, split home run double chance. But that brings up Johnny Edwards with one down and one aboard. And that's going to be a pop out to first. So there's two down and Julian Havier is the batter. And that is going to be a ground ball. And so the Cardinals don't get anything in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth, still in a t scoreless tie, with Roy Campanella batting against Bob Gibson. Fly ball to center. I, I want to say, I toyed with the idea of not pitching Bob Gibson, but I know that there are some Cardinals fans that are uh, fans of the channel, and they probably would have... Uh, they would have uh, been up in arms about me not pitching Bob Gibson in a one-off game. So uh, there are two out, and Gil Hodges is the batter. And that is going to be a strikeout. So uh, we're scoreless through four, and we're going to the top of the fifth. 
And Dal Maxville batting against Don Newcomb, who is matching Bob Gibson here. And that's going to be a single. Dal Maxville is aboard. And Bob Gibson is up. I am going to sacrifice bunt. 86% chance. And we will go for I don't. Now, if you know me, I don't like bunting. I hate it. But I will do it with a pitcher occasionally. And that is going to be an out. But did he move the... Yeah, so he did. He moves the runner over to second. And there is one down with Lou Brock up at the plate. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. And now that should score the run. Although, um, yeah, see, they're asking me to send him. So it's just a possible single double asterisk. Not how I play the game. If it's a single double asterisk, it's a two base single <coughs> or two base uh, advancing single for runners on base. But I am not going to do that because the chances aren't that great. So it's going to be runners at the corners. And uh, that brings up Kurt Flood. So let's see if Kurt Flood can get on. That is going to be a ground ball to second, and it's going to be a single. It's through for a single, and the Cardinals have broken through here with a one nothing lead. Runners at the corners, and one away for Mike Shannon. He can do a little bit more damage, too. He doesn't, though. Uh, ground ball to third base. Um, well, let's see. Save chance. You know what? I'm going to try to advance. Let's see if that works. Defense is going for the sure out, so that is going to give us a 2-0 lead. And that brings up Orlando Cepeda. And he is going to hit a ground ball to second, and it's a single on a rare play. So the second baseman for them, that's Jackie Robinson, I believe. He's having a rough day. So we've got Sandy Amaros up. It's already 3 nothing, And let's see what Sandy Amaros might be able to do. He hits the ball at the third baseman, but that is an out. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth with the Cardinals leading 3 nothing, And Pee Wee Reese is the batter. And that is going to be a strikeout. So there's one down. And... Uh, Don Newcomb is the batter. Let's see if they pinch hit for him. No, they don't. Although he is a decent hitter. But he strikes out. So there's two down. And Roger Maris is going to be... We're in the Cardinals are back up at the plate. And Roger Maris will lead off against Newcomb. So they didn't... Who they did not take out to pinch hit for him. Fly ball to right. And that is a fly out. So Maris is out. Brings up Johnny Edwards. Cardinals here with a 3-0 lead through the top of the sixth inning. That's going to be an out. And there's two down. And uh, Julian Javier is the batter. And that is going to be a strikeout. So we get nothing in the sixth. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Up 3-0. Gibson solidly in charge. And he's going to deal to the switch hitting Jim Gilliam. And that's going to be a single. Gilliam gets aboard with a hit. So let's see what they're going to do here. Uh, Jackie Robinson is the batter. And that is going to be a strikeout. So there are... Uh, there is one out. And Duke Snyder is the batter. And that is going to be a possible single. Let's see. They got a 1-7 to seven chance for the single here. And they do get the single, so that's going to be two runners are going to be on with only one out. So this is the probably, uh, I'm going to stop the other runner from advancing because we have a 3 nothing lead. This is probably the worst trouble that um, Gibson has been in. And so that will bring to the plate Roy Campanella, who in his own right is a good hitter. But that's going to be a strikeout, and that's going to be the second out 
which brings up Carl Ferrillo. And let's see what he can do. He can get a single to center field, which is going to... Uh, wait, what happened there? I thought that was a single. All right, well, anyway, I guess we're back at the plate, and it's still 3 nothing. I thought the, the Dodgers scored there. I'm not sure what really happened. But anyway, um, Del Maxville is the batter. And he's going to walk. So Del Maxville is aboard. He's a stealing E, so he's not going anywhere. Bob Gibson is up. You know what? I'm going to let Bob Gibson hit in this situation because we are up 3 nothing, And so let's just take a shot. He strikes out, though, and uh, that brings up Lou Brock. Because I'm not, you know, I mean, if you sacrifice, you're giving the other team an out. You only have 27 of them, and you're giving them one. Single 1-13 to 13 chance here, but it's an out. So that was a fly out, and there are two down with Kurt Flood, the batter. And that is going to be a ground ball. So <laughs> um, we get nothing, and we go to the bottom of the seventh. Bob Gibson solidly in charge. You would think I maybe I would bring in a reliever just to make this interesting because... These guys can't touch Gibson. Uh, fly ball to center for Hodges. That's one down. Of course, those Cardinals fans would still be even up, just as upset about that, I would imagine. Ground ball to second base. So there are two down. And that brings up Pee Wee Reese. And Pee Wee Reese is going to ground out. And so the Dodgers can't get anything against Bob Gibson. Now, really, to be honest, there's probably no team in history that would do well against this Bob Gibson. But we're up in the top of the eighth with Mike Shannon, the batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to second base. There is one away. That brings up Orlando Cepeda. And that is going to be a possible single, but only a very slight chance. And it is actually an out. Fly out to center field. And that brings up Don Newcomb. And, um, or, or wait, Roger Maris? Roger Maris with two outs. Okay. Roger Maris is uh, batting with two outs. We're still up. And that's a ground ball to second, so no runs for us in the eighth. Now, I think I might take a look at the bullpen, so let's, uh, let's do that. Substitutions. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, who are we going to go with? I'm going to go with Ray Washburn. Oh, okay. All right, so to go with Ray Washburn, I have to click on his stats. And say replace, and so that is done, and we have Ray Washburn pitching now. So he's the new pitcher. In the bottom of the eighth, Don Newcomb is the batter. They Let's see if they let him stay. No, they're going to pinch hit. George Shuba is going to be the pinch hitter. Left-handed hitter against the right-handed Ray Washburn. And that is going to be a fly to center. And that is going to be a fly out. So there's one down. And uh, Jim Gilliam is the batter. And Jim Gilliam is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop, which is converted to an out. And there's two down quickly. And Jackie Robinson is the batter. And he is going to pop out. Pop out! So, uh, Jim Hughes is going to enter the game for the Dodgers as the new pitcher. 
And he's going to be facing Johnny Edwards here in the top of the ninth. Cardinals with a 3 0 lead. And that's going to be a strikeout. Jim Hughes striking out the first batter, Julian Javier. And that is going to be a fly to right field. That's two down. And we're going to Dal Maxville. Dal Maxville is the next hitter, and he is going to be out. So the Cardinals go quickly in the ninth. We're going to the bottom of the ninth with a 3 0 lead for the Cards. And Duke Snyder is the batter against Ray Washburn. And I uh, did not have any idea that Ray Washburn is just a starter. But anyway, I brought him in, so that's how it works. Roy Campanella. I, was, I, could, I could swear I remembered him being a reliever. But anyway, there's a possible home run right here. If not, it's a double, and it is. So there's a man aboard with one out. And, uh, of course, you know, back in the day, like, everybody was a starter reliever. Everybody did everything. That is going to be a possible home run, which could give the Dodgers two runs. It's only a double, though, and it only gives them one run. They have a man at second with still only one out. And Gil Hodges is the batter. And uh, that is going to be a fly to center. So there are two down. They just need one more out, and let's see if they can get it with Sandy Amaros up at the plate. That is going to be a possible single. It's a 1-13 to chance, and it is a single. So Rock Washburn finds himself in a little bit of trouble here. Um, runners are at the corners with two down. And a two-run lead, and Pee Wee Reese the batter. And that's going to be a fly ball that's going to end it. And that is how the game ends. We will take a look at the box score. St. Louis wins it. I'll let you guys take a look here at what happened with the everybody that uh, was playing. This is the, the hitters. And we go down to the pitchers. And uh, both starting pitchers did really well. Gibson gets the win. Washburn gets the save. And that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.